And so what would that do for you? It would it would invalidate his success, right? Uh, I'm not saying all that. Say it. it, it, it no, no, it would. <laughs> Everybody put My name is Aaron Cole And you're listening to The Track Stars Radio <laughs> Alright man, back in the field with I the Track Stars Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, <laughs> DJ Jeremiah I forgot all about that yeah. <laughs> We got Aaron Cole in the building, Brinson in the building yeah. Yeah. Will Thomas in the building yeah. Plus many, many others um, we, we we hit something earlier, and I'm trying to see how far y'all going to go with this, because I think <laughs> y'all were real candid, and I think it's going to get tight. Um, we are talking about ghost writing. Excuse me? Ghost who? In Christian hip-hop. <laughs> ghost who, sir? Ghost writing. Okay. Praise God. I, I, ghost say, I thought he said ghost rabbing. <laughs> oh, like, what, like, what's a rabbing, brother? <laughs> ghost writing in Christian hip-hop. Own. I don't know if people think about that. I think it's a pride issue. Is it happening? First of all, because I think that's yeah, the first. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. How high up does this go? I think everybody. I mean, from McCray all the way down. In the position that um, it's talking about verses. Nah, that's that's verses. what everybody want to know. I'm not talking about verses. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. No, I'm talking about hooks and song concepts. People care about verses. Okay, check, right. check this out. Check this out. Okay, check check this out. I will say verses. Think about a crew uh, of eight people, right? Eight people, you got a crew. And we all in the studio together. And we do a verse. And then maybe one bar ain't all that great. And then somebody else in the crew like, oh, you should have said this. There's editors. There you go. You got an editor. You got a ghost writer. Oh, I thought, I'm you got a ghost editor. About, like whole verses like. Like somebody, he t- somebody he paid for a verse. <laughs> I thought you were thinking about that. I'm like, oh. Well, <laughs> but would, that, got, but, would that, but, that, that ain't wrong though. No. But would that be wrong? I would love to ghostwrite for Lecrae. I mean, because guess what? I'm it's going to it's going to be a, a mailbox like, check that's coming with my name on it that I mean, I'm gonna yeah. pay tithe on and dance on top of, <laughs> of it course it's good. and of say course it's hallelujah, good for like, <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, of course it's good for like the ghostwriter. I'm talking about like as an artist point of view. I, I so would, so what would that do for you? It would it would invalidate his success, right? Uh, I'm not saying say it, all that. Say it. <laughs> no, no, it would. Say the whole thing. It would that. invalidate the crisis. No. no, like okay, check. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Okay, check this, this out. Check this out. Okay, do you remember that old truth song that Dr. Dre did the beat for that they got sued over? Dr. Dre ain't really made that beat. DJ Quick made that beat. Dr. Dre paid for the beat, slapped his name on it, and got paid. Yeah, a lot of yeah. ghost producers. It's it's, it's ghost the ghost same producers. thing. Yeah. People looking at it. As a, you're not looking at it as a business. You got to have the best product for the people. But, people want to hear hotness. But the average consumer, yeah, they, the average thinks. consumer does not care if it was good. I think they, they don't not. care because think they, they think do. they're writing it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, I write all of my verses. Deception. Well, <laughs> I write all of my verses. Well, good for you, brother. But I mean, <laughs> hey, if you ever needed one, it would nothing be wrong with it. You well, got you got to look at it like if you made a classic, right? Yeah. Would you let Lauren Hill write for you? I think Lauren Hill is one of the dopest people, period. Right, she had she, and she had Ghost Rider. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I was getting at. And if you would have said, yes, I would let Lauren Hill do something. Guess what? Somebody probably wrote for her to write for you. You never know. So you're saying there's a business behind the business. There's a business behind that the business. That people don't know about. Yeah. That's going to mess people up, man. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. It's the truth. I, I think, I think, um, I think with... When you think about the like the industry, <clears throat> I'm sorry. When you think about like the industry, and you think about like mainstream industry mm-hmm. and Jay Z, let's use him for example. Mm-hmm. If people found out he had a ghostwriter, uh, it would be over. Like yeah. people would be I like, we did find that already. Wait I mean, a minute, what know. you mean it would be over for Jay Z? One, he married Beyonce. I mean, <laughs> he owns title. He's still making money for all them albums he did before he didn't been all around the world. It's, it's the, it's, it's the, it's the no respect. Yeah, it's, it's, it's legitimate. Yeah. It's the respect. Nobody ain't gonna lose respect for Jay. It's like steroids. I think the problem I have when we talk about respect and ours, when you look at we talk about the secular market, it's just so much phoniness. I mean, look at Iggy Azalea. Yeah. I mean, her whole we know she got Ghost Riders, and we know she's phony. She put on a fake Southern accent. She's from another country. How does she win best hip hop? Well, and that's what I'm saying. So we got we all know this, but the fans do not care. They don't you know care. what I'm saying? And she's a different type Okay, of okay, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute Here but, we go Most gospel on radio right now Was not written by the artist yeah, yeah, But nobody yeah, cares about yeah, that yeah, Nobody no. cares about singers 
it's the same thing. They, they, yes, rap is different. another situation. It's different. Rap, Dude, rap, 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 rap has tarnished in the hearts of many <laughs> because it's not how it used to be. It's yeah. the respect not there. I mean, for real, for real, you listen to the radio. Most cats on the reg- radio in secular rap sound like they handicapped. And I mean, it's nothing against anybody <laughs> handicapped. <laughs> Am I... For real, I'm just like, what? Is, what, is, what is he saying? Did he yeah. have a speech impediment? Like, I don't know. Let me mess you up, though. <laughs> okay, mess me up. Would bro. you? Would you? Would you have a ghostwriter for your project? He does. I write all his lyrics. Thank you. Because <laughs> the answer is no. I, that's you why say no. it's been. Say so what? You wouldn't. You wouldn't have a ghostwriter for your album. If I had enough money to hooks. pay people for your hooks, to, for your Listen. hooks is different. Oh my, yeah, I had people write my hooks before. Right. I'm just saying, would you have somebody write your verse? All day. Verses? If, man, people charge money for verses, brother. You ain't if gonna you find no it. cheap ghost writer. If like, you was, oh, you want you want me to write a verse, brother? <laughs> I mean, somebody who real good. Oh, that'll be a you know six hundred dollars. Like, but I can, six, let me write this thing. Come on, you know what? That's man. Come on, that's ministry money. You got to promote the album. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna spend six hundred dollars on you. I'm gonna put that towards a video. For Will Thomas, even though it ain't six hundred dollars, but I mean, you got to you know Boy, it's down payment. <laughs> a down payment, look, a love offering to get the video, <laughs> to get the to get yeah. the contact, right? To get, look, to get him to pick up the phone, like <laughs> pay that brother. I know. I he think, said, I know. That's right. Pay I her. think <laughs> as the more and more Christian hip hop is starting to imitate, they're starting to duplicate what the world is yep. doing. They're going to start doing Ghost Riders on these verses if it's not already started. And it, and it starts it, with the hooks. Start with a hook. That's then it gets a little bit easier to say we're in the verses. Now the person around the hook and they give you like instead of rapping lyrics, they give you a flow. They'll be, you know they start moaning the lyrics. Here's how I think you should do it. Right. Then the artist starts copying that. And then I think I think I think what people don't want to find out is that you had nothing to do with the verse. Yeah. They handed it to you. They showed you how to do it, and then you ran with it. This is what's yeah. going to happen, and I'm about to tell you the future because I'm a prophet. These <laughs> these major <laughs> no no listen to what I'm saying these major labels and it has already started are gonna be getting Christian artists Christian hip hop artists one by one they're gonna be signing them they're gonna take them to these big studios they're gonna have people writing their verses and they're gonna have people writing their hooks and nobody's gonna know the difference because they're gonna have the money to take over Christian hip hop and everybody who everybody like now is not gonna be in the game no more so because they're gonna they buy gonna, them out they're gonna Walmart the situation they're gonna already, it's, it's it already happening started. right now it you got, started you got, you got major labels now because of what Reach was able to do now is a viable market to make right. money they say in. that you can and make the money the cost of getting to promote a Christian artist in this industry is so cheap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I mean, I, this is stuff I know for a fact. Yeah. Okay. No, I've had, I have been in the rooms with these majors. I used to like Capital. I've been with E1. So these are legit things that they're doing. So what they need to do, just be real, they can move, reach out the way. Because reach right now is they have the market on lock. Yeah. So once they can get reach out the way, then they can just buy up to all the talent. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? And then they can control like they do the other markets. And, and not right. just buy up all the talent. They're going to find people you never heard of. That's they're going to put money behind them and they're going to blow them up. So y'all better but, like but, y'all artists quick because it's going to be <laughs> over with. Somebody going to come with the check. But Bro, what Simmons going to be like, leave track stars. They're going to be like, yes, sir. What else do you need me to do? <laughs> so, but, but like, what about some of the people that are hard on going going to a secular um, label is not my thing they're nice I mean we we know people yeah but okay like what, that what, what they're saying though is if a lot of these people struggling if they take away your struggle it's gonna be hard to say but no but for some people they're like no I'm a Bible e- believer everybody is gonna say that until the check <laughs> is on the table <laughs> No, I'm, let's be let's be honest. Like I've seen people in Christian hip hop who was dogmatic about their faith. Yeah. Who was like, man, if you don't quote scripture like this, I am never gonna listen to your record. I'm never gonna co-sign you or whatever. Man, as soon as the shift changed, you don't hear. I don't even hear Jesus. Yeah. I see that. I see the check coming. I mean, I know you blowing up, but I'm like, what? Well, and that and that goes back to what we were talking about in the very beginning of the conversation what? we got on. Yeah, I did it. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we first started, the problem is people are trying to do this for the money. Yeah. If your foundation is, I'm trying to do this to get paid. You, you, then you then you will easily go into well, the do, do people start that way or do they get that way? I, do they think, start they out say, good? I think they get that way. I think they get some, that way. Some people start that way and some people get that way. Some people start because they like, look at these cats touring, look at these people going around the world, look at their fans. Look, I've been wanting to do this. I'm just about to turn up and do what they do and take their fans because I'm better than them. And that's what rappers say. And other times, 
people get into situations where they've been trying to do it for God for so long. They get burned out. They get crapped on. People at church don't take them serious. I mean, I've experienced that. I mean, just a lot of things. And people are like, look, this is not working for me. So guess what? I'm going to just switch sides because I've been getting more love in the world and they pay me. Who's doing it right? Who's legit? What you mean? What Who's you legit? mean? legit? Because I mean, somebody <laughs> may mean? Some, somebody may listen to this and be like, "Well, then they all they all whack." So who's who do you know that you can say for I th- sure? I think who do I know that's Flame. for sure? Flame. He that's said Flame for sure. Yeah, because I know from my conversation with him and then just by his music, he is definitely very. He's even if you listen to a song, he's still very very scriptural. He's still going after God. I mean, we all for, we. I mean, I he did the song. He did the song pretty much calling out Lecrae, even though he would never really say that. He did the song calling out Number One Spot, <laughs> which was a record addressing this very issue about people running the rat race trying to get famous. I think I, to answer your question, I think that rapper named Brinson. I think he for real. No, for real. I I'm, I think I'm gonna download his his uh, Until We Meet Again album. I mean, he he been on the same thing. Since he came out Chase God Chase God Let's get saved Let's go to heaven <laughs> Hell is real <laughs> <laughs> That's good Alright I, I mean So Flame and Brinson well, Mouthpiece Mouthpiece uh, I mean the cats I run with Ready Rider C Straight Mike Real, yeah, Mike real Mike is real, dope real I like dope. I like him He real dope Very humble Got a good heart I think that's And that's why I'm, I mean There are a lot of Diamonds in the rough It is You know what I'm saying But what my fear is Is that when we start looking At the glitz and the glamour Of other artists their light may not seem as bright anymore. Yeah, because I think that we got the fan base has changed. It's changed. The fans. So, it used to be a time. Hold up. Stop sh- cutting me off. I can't. I can't. I can't. I got so much. <laughs> I know. So much. No, but um, real talk. What happened? The fans are changing. The fans don't require an artist to be as Script. vocal about their Christianity. So now, because the fans are not requiring, because it's a two, it's a two way street. I mean, I look at me who doing videos. There used to be a point in time where everybody wanted a super. Christian videos. Now you can do videos about absolutely nothing and the fans love it. You know what I'm saying? So because of the fans are changing, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? We want growth. And I feel like what Reach has done has grown our market, but now we have a lot of people, because we we make assumptions that everybody who listens to Christian hip-hop is born again believer. And that's 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 totally not the truth. We got a lot of people now who are not born again, but they say, yo, I genuinely just like this music. It's different, it's positive, and I feel good listening to it. So now they don't have the same convictions as somebody who may have been born again for a while who's reading the word. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But what happened now is because we got more of these kinds of fans that are more open to variety music, now we got artists just watering down the message, watering it down, watering down. So now if you got an artist that's starting to make a lot of money and these labels are saying, yo, or these major labels are saying, yo, this person's got a, a very watered down message. You know what I mean? They're, or they wouldn't say watered down, they say, oh, they're very marketable. We can see how they can cross over. I feel like what's going to start happening. I feel like people are going to start offering checks. Some people are going to start selling out. So now, <laughs> back to this ghostwriting thing. Uh, Tony Lednev said If Kendrick had ghostwriters For his verses I feel like his popularity Authenticity Would drop Same for Christian rappers I agree I think I, verses I Is where I people's agree. line I agree. is yeah. So I, is it the I, verses I, thing That's this, this is where Where I disagree uh, And A lot of women Don't care about that Are they <laughs> Are they buying the Most of his records no. Women buy albums. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like women buy women, albums. Women, women don't care that about it, that. And the guys go with women. That's what women's doing. And and guys, it matter the guys because it's you know it's a macho thing. Like man, ain't nobody gonna write my verse. You see how he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm hey, 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 like, hey, gonna hey, make this check. clear. Let I write my verse. I mean, I write mine too, but. The, no, people you don't. Who, the, people, the people who who buy albums, a lot of women buy albums for their kids because they want. They don't care. They just want something for their kids so to you, grow on. Are you seriously? You really think that that wouldn't hurt Kendrick's? Kendrick Lamar. They have put so many marketing dollars behind dude. Like it don't matter what he do. Like he can, you know, do something real crazy, make the wackest song, but. He got fans already, and, and he got. So he's already fans. crossed over the line. He, he already so he does. Could. He already does. Now, if we, you talking about somebody who's trying to come up and trying to build something, I mean, he's standing on the shoulders of Dre and all these other people. Like, ain't, ain't gonna hurt him. I think his, I do. his dude's fans gonna be mad. I think it will. I think it will hurt him. 
Um, the reason being because I think he built himself for what he is saying is coming from his heart. That's his brand. Yeah. And because I feel that because what he's saying is coming from his heart, I'm taking his stories as being something that this he feels is 100% you, about. Yeah. And then I feel like if we were to find out somebody else was writing those stories, then now my connection as a fan to the Kendrick would be broken. Yeah. And that's what will happen because I think people like him because I can relate. When I heard his last record, I loved it because, wow, this dude is talking to black people. You know what I'm saying? I could relate to a lot of things he was saying. If I found out some some white guy wrote it, you know what I mean? I'm going to be like, what? I'm going to be pretty what? mad. <laughs> what? <laughs> that? <laughs> what? I wouldn't be mad. It would just be hilarious to me. Like, hey, <laughs> no, wait yeah, a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Billy Calhoun <laughs> wrote for Kendrick? Oh, man. I'm Hey, let Billy drop an album. I'm copying. <laughs> but, okay. And here's one last question I want to ask. Because there's ghostwriters all throughout hip hop. It's not a Christian hip hop thing, right? Why doesn't when people find out? Why doesn't that help the ghostwriter? You never hear about these ghostwriters ever again. Even though you find out Lil Wayne got a ghostwriter, you never hear about Gilly again. Like, how come it doesn't help them? They don't have the, the major labels behind them. Like, it would help if they had marketing dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you Will Smith had a, a song that blew up, getting jiggy with it. Yeah. I didn't Jay Z write that? No, no, no. Well, Nas wrote it. Nas wrote it. That ain't hurting either one of them. Yeah. I mean, shoot, I'm gonna go see the next Will Smith movie come when it come out. It don't matter. Well, but his, you got, that's not I, his brand. But I think you got to look at the the lifespan of an artist nowadays. Like Kendrick, since he got all the marketing dollars behind him, and he's already built the stuff. He got a a long lasting place in the game. Like other artists, they come and go. Like. In the, the independent rap game is so greasy. You'll see somebody for two albums or two years, and they out the game just because the struggle real. So I mean, you got to look at that with the the lifespan of all. So basically, are, are, boiling this down, are we basically saying that when it comes to selling records, it's mostly about the show and not necessarily about the process? I think it's about the music. It's, about it's the, the music. end result. It's not about how it got there. Is what you're saying? Overall, yes. No go. For the underground heads who really deep into the the artistry in, in the in the ministry like that is so small compared to the overall thing. If you compare like Katy Perry, nobody cares who writes her stuff. You got to think about the people who really is buying records. Like people really not buying records, they streaming. So they, if you're not valuing music enough to buy it, you don't care how who wrote it. Mm. Let's. I mean, well, that's, I, that, the- that's why I ain't streaming my album. Like I, I've put value back into you we got to do that and that's something i feel is the problem with music right now it has been devalued mm-hmm. we got to a place where too many things were coming out for free too much is given away mm-hmm. that now the fan now it became an oversaturation and now the fans don't respect the art form i think the reason why people are getting excited about beyonce or drake because they just dropped the record so the value came back they didn't get it beating their heads for six months leading up to the release they just dropped it it was out so now you had to buy the record because mm-hmm. you ain't hear this before. And I feel like the there's a season where mixtapes were dropping. You know, everybody knows 50 Cent was dropping mixtapes. That's kind of how he started getting recognition. It was dope because music wasn't free. So it became dope. Now everybody's copied that formula to the point now it's just too much being free. I liked one of the things that Wu-Tang Clan did, you know, a couple of months ago where they had one record mm-hmm. and they sold it for X amount of money, but it made it special. And it had songs on there that it never released. You know, that brought back value. Yeah. And I feel like what we need to, in order for music to continue on and become a profitable business so people can actually make a living, we got to bring back the value. Mm. I think the artists got to value their stuff too. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of artists work hard. They work overtime. They try to pay for beats. They paying for videos. They paying for all that stuff. And I'm, I think it's a crying shame that you're going to put a year's work worth of work for nothing you ain't going you ain't going to your job for free yeah. for a year and be like hey y'all got to pay me that's called being a volunteer mm. you and, know what i'm saying and that and that's the thing for this for the christian hip hop especially for it to grow mm-hmm. they have to come up with ways of making some revenue mm-hmm. cuz a lot of these labels man they're not making money they're broke and they're on life support you know what I mean? But when you look at Instagram, you look at the websites, it looks all pretty and tidy, and you're thinking that they're really doing good, and a lot of these artists are struggling. Support your favorite artists. Go buy these. Yeah, album. please. Buy two and give away to somebody. Go buy fact, until we meet again right now. Buy three and don't give any away. Make them buy. Make them buy it from me, then buy some more copies. That's what's up, man. That's good. That's good. All right. You know what's next?